of the tripod, um, I decided today I'm going to do a drive with me because I feel like going tanning and it's about a 40 minute drive, so um, I'm going to hopefully be distracted by you guys. That sounds dangerous, but I'm not going to be looking at the camera. I'm looking at the road, I promise. I'm kind of holding the tripod just so it doesn't shake that much. But I figured why not try out a different video. You probably can't hear me because the air is on. But I figured why not try something a little bit different out because I just didn't really know what to film and I felt like filming today, but I didn't feel like putting a full face of makeup on. I think that was the snow. Don't mind that. Um, but I thought I would try this out. So. We shall see how this goes. It might just be me singing a bunch of different songs the whole entire time. I guess we'll just find out. But, so, I think I already told you that I'm going still sick. I am going tanning. Let me turn the music down again. Right now, 40 minutes to get there. Just to tan for 15 minutes. But I haven't tanned in a while. And I need to use it. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can fix the angle of this because... I don't want it to shake so much, but there's only so much I can do, right? Um, so mind the shaking, and if it falls, well, it will probably fall. So I apologize in advance, but that snow just scared the shit out of me. So it's about 40 minutes to get there. Just to tan for 15 minutes, but you know, I feel like tanning today, so I don't really have anything else better to do. I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Um, I think that guy just like looked at me like, what the fuck? Ah! Y'all almost fell, but you didn't. Excuse my language, by the way. Um, but yeah, so who knows? Maybe I'll go somewhere else when I get out there. Oh my gosh, that shaking is literally annoying me. I'm sure it's annoying you guys too. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I guess I'll update you guys when I'm there. I don't really know how this video is gonna go, but you know, it's fine. It's cool. Ah! I wish I had a shit ton of birds. Oh, I should have gotten gas. Great. I actually don't know, but like. I just didn't want to get out in the cold, so I was like, oh, I'll just do it when I get there because my car's going to be warm, but now I don't want to do it when I get there because it's going to be more expensive, but I'm going to have to now. Damn it. I do this every time. It's because I'm lazy. <laughs> and I feel like I should have, like, came up with questions or something because I already, I literally just updated you guys on my life, but let's see what else can I update. Ah! That was so cute. Um, yeah, I need to get like a tripod that like sticks or something because you guys are literally just sitting there. Like, I don't know how people get these things to stay. And I'm only going 50. I'm not even going the damn speed limit so you guys don't like fly all over the place. Um, what else? What can I update you guys on? Oh, I don't know if I did mention this, but in about a month, a little less than a month, I will be flying to Texas to see my best friend. Okay, there you guys go. Okay. To see my best friend who lives in, oh my gosh. Okay, I honestly don't even know where I left off. We're just gonna turn up some music and we're gonna jam out because, not to country music because that shit makes me sad. Fun fact, guys, this is the road that I got pulled over for the first time on because apparently I was going 63 and not 50. Let me just tell you, there are no speed limit signs for like six, seven miles, so I think that's a load of crap. But guess what? You better bet I must set my cruise control to 52. Pull me over now, please. Pull me over now. That's what I need right now in my life. 
my mom just texted me and I tried to see what it said, but I couldn't, so. March 7th, which is going to be so much fun. I'm definitely going to vlog it. It'll be my second time flying, so hopefully it'll be better than my first and on a bigger airplane because, guys, that was scary. I do not like taking off, but the airplane, literally, I feel like I could extend my arms and touch both sides of the plane. Like, that's how small it was, and I'm pretty sure it was only, like, 18 rows deep. I feel like I should do a separate story time on this, but maybe I'll, I'm just going to tell you all right now. So I was flying to, I, oh, what? I was flying to Ohio. I flew out to see her for New Year's. Um, and it was my first time flying in the first, like I flew by myself first time on a tiny ass plane and it was like a snowstorm and it was really, really scary. Oh my gosh. I was so stressed out. I'm, I was so stressed out. I was stressing my own mother out about being stressed out. So I got there and like I thought I was going to throw up. Sorry, TMI. I feel like I say TMI in every video. Can someone answer me about milk, please? Oh, sorry, mom. I'm not home. So watch your mouth. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. I like this song. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so stressing my mom out about flying. She hates flying, first off. She, like, gets stressed out even flying past an airport. So she had to drop me off at the airport, so she was, like, stressed just about being there. So I wasn't helping the situation at all. So I get into the airport, literally like thought I was gonna have like a panic attack because that was like the first time I was in an airport in like seven years maybe. I We don't fly anywhere because my mom's deathly afraid. So we, anytime we go on vacation, like go to Florida or anything, we always, always drive, tell me about it because I live about 20 hours from Florida. So, I mean, I like driving just because I like seeing everything, but anyway so I walk into the airport I'm literally just overwhelmed like there's so many people I have no idea where I'm going for security or anything so I go like to the first checkpoint or whatever and she's like oh well this isn't the right one how do you know where like what number what number so I like I showed her she go to the next one first off those people are not nice at all so that was fun so I went to the next one and I was like, am I right? And he was like, get in line. Okay, sorry. Like, I'm just trying to go to Ohio here. First time flying. I feel like I had it like labeled on my head. So then I get in line. Line went through pretty quickly. I think I was in line for less than like 10 minutes. So we get to the point where I need to put everything up on the belt for it to go through the scanners and everything. And people are taking off their shoes and I'm like, oh shit. I have, they're kind of like Vans, they're J. Crew like slip-ons. I had no damn socks on. I'm like, I am not about to take these shoes off and put my bare ass feet on the ground. So I quickly reach in my suitcase and pull out a pair of socks. Like they're long, they're not even like ankle, okay they're ankle socks but they're like higher ankle socks. So I like slip those on real quick, hopefully no one's watching me. So I throw up all my stuff and of course, I have to go through a different type of little, like, what do you call those things? Um, metal detectors, I think. Wow. 
So I have to go through one where you step in, you put your hands up, and it spins around you, okay? While well, everyone else is going through, like, the one you just literally have to walk through. No, I get picked to go through the spinny one. So I'm like, okay. And then it starts to go red. I'm like, what? Like, I first time flying, there's nothing. I have nothing. So I get pulled aside. Where am I going? I just went the wrong way. I hate myself. This is what happens when I talk on the phone. So we're gonna make a little U-turn up here. Not a U-turn, that's illegal. Um, I just turned where, I do need to go that way, oh my gosh. See, literally guys, if I was to talk on the phone all the time, I would never be able to get any, anywhere. So anyway, I get picked to go through the spinny thing, and of course, mine goes off, so I'm like, great. So I have to step aside as the girl, like, pats me down, and, like, goes like this. I'm like, girl, watch it. But she was really nice. But, like, I was like, okay. And then I go to walk away. She goes, no, not yet. And I was like, great. What else do you got for me? Like, I'm just trying to fly for the first time. Y'all are stressing me out with this. Oh my gosh, why did I gotta do that? Like, I was fine. I literally had nothing, but I did that, and then I had to find my way to section H or G or whatever you want to call it. So, I'm trying to look at this damn like map of all the planes and what times and where I stood there for like 10 minutes trying to figure out where I was supposed to go. So, then I was like, let's just wa start walking because I was there at least like two hours early. Their music is really loud. I was there like two hours early so I had just enough time to like figure out what I was doing because obviously like I said first time being in an airport by myself flying by myself. So walking I turned to like the right and I just start walking. Thank god it was the right way because I had to walk literally I w I'm not kidding when I say probably two miles to get to where my terminal was. It was the farthest away. I'm not kidding. Um, I'm gonna get my... The farthest away. So, I make it there. Thank gosh, no problems. And I sat literally, it was like 3 o'clock and my plane did not start boarding until like 5. So I had just enough time to like collect myself and like freak out to get onto the plane, if you know what I'm saying. Like have enough time to start freaking out about flying, actually flying. Because I got past the point of freaking out not knowing where I was going. So now I had to worry about flying for the first time by myself. And then, so I'm sitting there and then I see everyone with these tags on their carry-ons and I'm like, oh, what, what are these, like, and I'm, like, a shy person, like, if I'm by myself to ask someone, like, oh, hey, so, no, I'm, like, calling my mom, texting my best friend who flies all the time, I'm, like, people have these tags on their bags, like, do I need to go get one, what do I do, acting like they're gonna know, like, they're with me, they don't have no, they have no idea, so I sit there for, like, an hour and a half debating on if I need one of these bag tags or not, because, on my thing it said a free carry-on so I was like okay like carry-on you just put it up in the little cubby things up there right so my mom's like just go ask there's like there was like a bunch of different desks so I was like okay before I went on um I went up to the desk where my like terminal number was and I was like I have a really stupid question and the lady was like there's no stupid questions here and I was like okay she's nice so I asked her and she was like no you look fine you look ready to go and I was like okay good so then they start calling us to board the plane, and I think I was group six or something like that. So they call group one, group two, so on and so forth, whatever. She gets to group six, so I get up, I get in line, and then I start going, and the lady was like, uh, you need a tag for that. I started freaking out, but thank God she had them with her, so she literally just put it on my bag for me, and then I'm like, okay, I got, I got the thing, like, it's fine. So then I start walking to get on the plane, and I have my suitcase, so I walk out of the plane, and he's like, oh, you can't bring that on here. What do you mean I can't bring that on here? 
it's my suitcase. I can't leave it in Chicago. She's like, no, just leave it outside of the plane. I had no idea where she was talking about. So I'm like holding up the people behind me. I'm like, uh. So I literally just throw my bag to the side and I just get on the plane and I hope to God that my suitcase is in Ohio with me. So I get on the plane, like, that's a whole other story in itself. It was my first plane ride experience. But then I get to the airport in Ohio. It was Cincinnati. I'm pretty sure I was in Kentucky, actually. I don't really know. I get there, and I don't know where my bag is. And I'm looking, and I... They told us to stand on the side, and I was like, I think I missed that part. So then I, like, walk off the plane into the airport, and there's no bags. So I was like, "Mm okay. So then I walk back down the little hallway to where you would walk to board the plane. And there's people standing in line, and the lady was like, oh, you need to stand against the wall. Okay, sorry, I have no idea what I'm doing. So thankfully, long story short, I got my bag, and then it took me like 20 minutes to figure out how to get out of Cincinnati Airport to get to my friend's car. So you could say my first plane ride, not my first plane ride, just the first time in an airport by myself was interesting, to say the least. So... I'm going to stop rambling now. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. I am going to go in and tan and have some me time because I'm stressed out now. I'm going to go tan and then maybe I'll go run to like Trader Joe's or something to distract myself from going home and sitting and doing nothing. I do need to edit though, so maybe I'll do that. But yeah, I will update you guys when I'm done tanning. I'll probably be beat red like a damn tomato, but I will see you guys when I get back. So I just put $5 worth of gas in my car. I have not done that since I think like high school. Ugh. But as of right now, I'm on my way home because I can't do anything else because my dumbass forgot my credit card. Not that I need to spend money anyway because I don't have a job right now. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go home, edit my coming out video that you guys should have already watched and if you haven't i'll be sure to link it link it down below so you can check that out but i have that to edit and then i still need to edit the blindfolded makeup challenge that i did on my sister which also should be out already um and then i need to job search that's really it so i'm just going to drive home my lips are ah! I'm just gonna hold y'all for a second. I am just going to drive home. Um, I'm sure you guys have already seen enough of me singing and stuff. So let's just. I don't want to get like pulled over for holding my phone, but I think that is all that's gonna be said and left to say in this video. Probably wasn't that great, but I thought I'd try something different. So if you guys liked it, be sure to let me know down in the comments below because if you do, then I will definitely do another drive with me video or something along the lines of this or something similar. I don't know. I don't know if you guys even like it. If you don't, also let me know so I don't like do it again and something you guys don't even like watching. But yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was different, but I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.